address the council. Okay. All right. Just please state your name and address. I know who you are, but I understand. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to hand this. Pass those around. Oh, okay. Yeah, three minutes. Time I do that, I'm done. <laughs> right, good. You're good. My name is Kim Driver Luton. I live at 1008 South College Street, Smithville, Tennessee. And I just I have a, a prepared statement to give to the city council, and I have passed out copies. Um, dear Smithville Mayor and City Council, last month the city received a letter allegedly from Jim Driver concerning the Smithville Town Cemetery. The letter stated the conditions were deplorable and demanded action from the city. This letter was not sent by my father, Jimmy Driver, who is with us tonight, and I'm disappointed a little bit in the way the city handled this matter. The letter has no return address, no phone number, and was not signed. Someone typed Jim Driver at the end of the letter. My father signs everything, Jimmy Driver. I think someone should have tried to contact my father to verify that the letter came from him. Instead. Unfortunately, the city got in touch with Dr. Mary Evans, who voluntarily oversees the Smithville Town Cemetery Association to let her know about the complaint. This started a firestorm, which has caused an opportunity, however, for us to discuss the cemetery. Smithville Town Cemetery was chartered in 1838. The management of the cemetery is handled by the Smithville Town Cemetery Association, a strictly nonprofit volunteer organization. Tommy Webb, DeKalb County historian managed this association until 2019 when Dr. Mary Evans volunteered to take it over. The association receives no money or any help from the city and relies strictly on donations to maintain and repair the cemetery. There's a good chance that some of you have ancestors buried there. If so, you're an automatic member of the Smithville Town Cemetery Association. This association needs your help and it needs the city's help. They have a Facebook page where the Beautification Committee posted information concerning plans that are underway to restore the wrought iron fence around the cemetery and other maintenance projects. Anyone can help by no donations, which can be mailed to 300 East Main Street, Smithville, Tennessee, 37166. As far as the bogus letter, we would like to get the original letter and envelope to deliver to the U.S. Post Office to file federal mail fraud charges. There's still someone who falsely used my father's name as well as tried to cause a lot of problems between the city, the drivers, and the Evans. My only hope is that the city will verify the authenticity of such inflammatory letters in the future. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ms. Luke. Uh, when we, I'll, I'll talk just for a minute about that. Uh, when we received that letter, First of all, I wanted to make sure it wasn't the city's responsibility to keep up. I wanted to make sure we wasn't dropping our responsibility on that. So uh, I know I called one of the council members, one of, well, the, I would say the elder on the, on the council, Mr. Jacobs, and I just, you know, I thought, I was just wondering if the city at any time had ever maintained that cemetery. And of course, we haven't, to my knowledge. So um, I think, of course, Miss Evans, I think this gives a good, clear picture of how it's run. So. Uh, but Mr. Driver, let me say, that don't sound like anything I think that you would do. So uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming tonight. No, we have, if you want the letter, we have it. Yes. I've still got the original letter, so I'll be happy to give it to you. Thank you. All right. Anyone else like to address the council tonight? 